So bring the knees into the chest. Let's take a little twist to the left and gaze over the right shoulder. And then switch. Back to the center. Let's take the legs up and over. And gently start to pull the knees towards the ears. Not tight. Hmm? Straighten the legs hmm. and then start to lower the hips. Reach the arms around the ears, lower the heels. Slowly lift the legs, take them up again. Exhale, lower the hips. Mm. Keep the arms around the ears, lower the heels. Mm. Try not to let the feet touch the floor, look down towards your toes. Slowly lift up again. Exhale, lower the hips. Chin to chest, lower the heels, hover an inch above the floor, hold. Slowly lift. Two more. Exhale. Lower the hips, look towards your toes, chin up, hold. Last one, lift. Exhale, lower the hips. Lower the heels, and hold here for five, four, Three, two, one. Let's grab the outside of the feet for a happy baby. <laughs> Bend the knees. Is that the one? No. Pull my hair up. Maybe start to straighten the legs if it feels okay. Let's release the left leg to the floor. Keep the right leg. Let's take it back to that half happy baby. Feel the length in the left hip flexor. <coughs> and then let's start to straighten the right leg. Let's take the nose up to the knee. And then gently relax back, hook the big toe in the right foot, open the hip. <coughs> let's bring the right leg across, find a little twist. Look over the right shoulder. Let's reach for the left foot. And then keep the right left hand on the right foot, bring the right leg across. Think compass, looking under the left shoulder. Try to keep the right hand on the left foot. <coughs> and then bring the leg back up. Let's cross the right ankle over the left knee, stretching the outside of the right hip. And then slowly straighten the left leg. Grab the left toes. <clears throat> and then release the left foot to the floor. Start to squeeze and lift the hips. Take the right foot to the floor, lifting both hips. Let's snuggle the shoulders underneath. And then release the hips. Again, scoop up. And again, release. And last one, scoop all the way up, reach the arms overhead and squeeze. Lift the heels and hollow it down. Pull the knees back in, outside of the feet again, gentle rock. Release the right leg to the floor. Keep the left leg and help your baby. Feel, some, feel the length in the right hip flexor. Extend the left leg. Nose to knee, lift. And then relax back, open the left hip. Left leg comes to the side, hook the big toe on the left foot. And then bring the leg up. We're gonna switch, twist across. Bend the right knee, grab the right foot, left shoulder to the floor. Regress. Bring the left leg across, big compass on the back, opening that right shoulder. And then bring the left leg across the ankle. So left ankle's over the right knee, take the hands around the right knee. 
Let me get my stretch. Nose up. And relax back. Stay here for a few more breaths. What is this guy doing? And then straighten the right leg. Grab the toe. <coughs> we take about five more breaths or three breaths here. Feel the length in the back of the right leg and the outer left hip. Release the right foot. Let's scoop the hips up. Keep the left ankle crossed. And then gently release. And let's place both feet down now. Scoop it up. Lace, up. lace up the fingers again underneath. Level the shoulders. Slowly release. Scoop it up. Scoop up. Lift. This time let's grab the ankles. Maybe even lift the heels. And then lower down. Taking both legs up. All the way up and over, grab the big toes. Exhale, rock up. All the way up. Again, inhale back. Exhale, rock up. Two more. Rock back. Scoop up. One more. Rock back. All the way up. Pause, lift. Let's place the feet on the floor. Let's take a modif, grab your blocks if you have them. We'll do modified Parvottanasana. Hands on the blocks, hips up. And then flex the feet, stretch, straighten the legs. Hips back and lift. Flex the feet, drive the hips through the arms. Again, lift. Drive the hips back, flex, and one more. Scoop up, hips back. Stay there, breathe, maybe lift the legs. And then release the heels. Let's take one of the blocks in front of the feet. And if you don't have blocks, it's okay. You just fold in, stretch. Open up again, keep reaching forward, and hold. One more time, reach, open the chest, and then hold. Set the block aside. Actually, no, grab both your blocks, place them next to the hips. Plant the hands on the blocks and start to hold. Knees to chest, five, four, three, two, one. Tailbone down, let's take Navasana. Lower to Ardha. Exhale up. Hands on the blocks, push down, lift. Hold five, four, three, two, one. Butt down, scoop and lift. Lower the heels. And lift again. Ready? Push and lift, five, Four, three, two, one. Butt down, legs lift. Lower again, hold. And this time we're going to float back. So push into the knuckles, lift the heat, lift the feet, and go all the way back. And set the blocks aside. Rest for a moment. And then switch ears. Inhale, start to lift the chest. Press the hands into the floor, scoop the legs up. And then release. Again, scoop up, lift, squeeze the butt, legs lift. And then release. Again, scoop up. And release. Lace up the fingers, open the chest. Bring the legs together and squeeze. And release. One more like this. Scoop down. Lacing up the fingers. Try to bring the legs together. Now 
reach the hands all the way forward. And then reach back, find the ankles. And lift. And then rest. All right, forehead back down. Start to lift up again. And right here to the floor. Again, forehead down, push the hips down, and lift. And rest, left ear. All right, forehead back down, get ready to push the hips down, lift. Then rotate slowly to the left. And then take it back to the center, over to the right. Take it back, left, and take it back, over to the right. All right, let's take it back to the left. Try to extend the right leg. Maybe grab the toe. And then take the foot all the way out to the right. Bring the floor, foot to the floor. Left knee on the floor, reach the right arm forward for a moment. Now left, right hand mm -hmm. on the shin or ankle. Left hand on the left ankle, lift the chest. And then sh slowly release, send the right foot back. Both hands on the ankle, scoop and lift. Rotate to the right. Left leg up. Keep that right knee back. Rest, breathe. Maybe reach for the toe. And then take the left leg out to the side. Right leg reaching. And then left hand on the ankle or the shin or the knee. One couple more breaths. We're going to try to lift high up. And then release. Now bring the tailbone up, chest down. Toes up, slide the hands forward. And lift the chin. And then slide the hands back, push into the heel of the hand, lift up. <clears throat> Come up to the hands and the knees, rounding the back, opening the heart. Cat tilt. Curl up. So that's the cat tilt. And now for the cat. Now we're going to take the hips in a little circle. So shift all the way forward and then turn to the left. And start to rotate in a little circle. Maybe even shift the back to the other direction. All right, wide leg child's pose again. One more stretch here for the shoulders and hips. And then tuck the toes, downward facing. Adjusting the hands and feet. Maybe pedal out the feet a little bit. All right, bring both toe, uh, heels up, drop the heels to the right. Shift up, heels left. Inhale up, heels right. 
Inhale up, heels left. Inhale up, heels to the right. Inhale up, heels left. Roll over the toes, upward facing. Come on, boom. Up. Up. Scoop it up and back, downward facing. Shifting forward plank, roll to upward. And back. Spreading the fingers, spreading the toes. Scoop it forward, upward face. And scoop it back. Let's walk the feet in. We'll slide the hands under the feet. Make sure the feet are hips distance. The elbows will go wide, chest to the knees, towards the knees, weight in the toes or the balls of the feet. Release the fingers, look forward, open the heart, flat back, and then slowly shift to standing. Little stretch to the left, and the right. Back to the left and right. And then lace up the fingers, open the shoulders and pull in. Micro bend the knees. And then straighten the legs. One more time, bend a little bit and then straighten. Release the fingers to the floor, grab the elbows, just hang, three more breaths. Maybe shift side to side. Maybe lace up the fingers behind the neck. Extra little pressure. Fingers to the floor, walk the hands out. And now we're facing. Shift to plank. Keep the belly engaged. Lower to turn around the inhale, upward facing. Scoop it up and back. Breathe. Shift to plank. Keep everything tight. Look forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Scooping it up and back. Spreading the fingers and toes. Scoop it forward to plank. Lower to chaturanga. Upward face. Scoop it back. Inhale, shift to plank, lift the right leg and squeeze it. Take the knee into the nose. Take the leg back. Squeeze the knee to the right. Send it back, knee to the left, twist. Now shoot it back, chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing. Breathe. Left leg lifts, shift forward to plank. Knee into the nose, send it back. Knee to the left, send it back. Twist to the right and hold. Try to get that knee higher up. Chaturanga, all the way down toward. And scoop it back. Let's tiptoe to the top of the mat. So start to tiptoe the feet all the way to the top. Fold in. Tiny bend in the knees, round the back, rise up and reach. Hands to the heart. Little stretch of the neck. So left hand, sorry, right hand to the outside of the left neck. Little stretch, reach the chin down, and then switch. All right, back to the center. Inhale, arms reach up. Open heart, let's fold. 
rise to the finger. Plant the palms, roll to the toes, bend and send the feet back. Upward facing, open the heart. Pull the belly up and back. Spreading the fingers and toes. Gaze back between the feet. Shorten up the stance slightly. Make sure the wall's handy if you need it. And getting ready to float up. Look forward, bend the knees, float up. Take your time, engage the legs. Maybe a little hang time. Take your time, shifting down to the top of the mat. Then scoop and rise up. Hands to the heart. Inhale as you reach up. Open the chest, fold in. Rise up. Plant the palms, roll to the toes, scoop out the belly, lean, chaturanga. All the way to upward. Scooping it back. Stretch. Again, let's go. Inhale, lift. Heels up, bend the knees, float or fly. All the way up. Point the toes, squeeze the butt. Find your hang time, little balance. Use the wall. And shifting down. Slowly rise up. Hands to the heart. Let the hands go by your side. Inhale, reach up. Open the heart, let's fold. Rise to the fingers, steadily plant those palms. Get ready to rise up towards the toes, shoulders towards the ears. Lean, strong arms, chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing. Child's pose if you need it. Breathe. Shorten up the stance. Start to lift the heels, bend the knees and fly. Float or fly up. Add a little straddle if it helps you float up. And then shift down, folding in. Slowly scoop and rise up. Hands to the heart. Breathe. Inhale, reach up, arms reach. Open the heart, fold. Rise up, get ready to plant those palms, roll up to the tippy toes, lean forward. Chaturanga, all the way to upward. Scoop it back. All right, three down, two to go. Strong arms, spread the fingers. Really push down into the hand as you float up. Use the wall. Try to tuck the butt under, point the toes, squeeze the butt. And then shift to the floor, folding in. Slowly rise up. Hands to the heart. Arms reach. Open the chest, fold. Rise to the fingers. Plant the palms, roll up to the toes, shoulders to ears, lean, chop up all the way to upward, scoop it back. All right, last one. So last one, we're gonna play a little bit. Add a little toe tap to the wrist. Inhale, lift, bend the knees and float or fly. Strong arms, push into the heel of the hand, the fingertips. And start to shift forward and fold. Slowly rise up. Take some time standing up. 
reach the arms. Shake out the wrists. All right, last set. We're gonna play with a little toe tap to the wrist. So if you wanna stretch the wrist first, let's stretch out those wrists just a little bit. Fingertips touching the toes, pressing into the feet. All right, now we're gonna plant the palms. Get ready to shift forward. See if you can tap the right toe to the right wrist first. Shift back, left toe, left wrist. Again, right toe to the right, scoop it up. Left toe to the left, scoop it back. Now we're gonna practice trying to hover. See if you can get three seconds, both feet. Ready? Start to shift, scoop, lift, lean. We're going for three. One, two, three, and rest. <laughs> Fold. Okay, let's try that one more time. Hands down, get ready to scoop up. All the way to the toes, hollow out the belly. Try for three, lean, toes on. One, two, three, Whew. and then step it back. All right, let's drop the knees, take a little child's pose, rest. Slowly sit up, pause. Let's come onto the hands and knees, reaching the left arm up. We'll take the left shoulder through, stretch that shoulder. Reach the right hand back. Maybe it comes into the hip or not. And then bring it back, left arm up. Switch. Right hand reaching. Take the right hand through. Shoulder to ear, or ear, I'm sorry, ear to the floor. Right hand, left hand back. And then shift back up. Now let's tuck the toes. Downward facing. Now we're going to float to the top of the mat. So big inhale, heels lift, bend the knees, and float all the way up. Two foot takeoff. Straighten those legs, squeeze. And then shift to the floor. And let's rise up. Take it to chair pose, sink the hips. All the way down into chair. Come down to the heels. Pause on the heels. Let's take the tailbone down, legs up. Lord Arda Navasana. Let's take the arms back. Exhale, lift up for one. Lower down, arms back. Exhale, two, lower. Exhale, three, two more. Four, last one, and five. Bring the heels into the uh, hip, hands forward, so you can stand up onto the feet, taking a little malasana stretch. Maybe wrap the hands behind the feet. Little fold. See if you can roll up to the toes. Reach up. Knees down. All right, setting up camel. Let's do one foot at a time. Right heel, left arm up. Second side. Let's sit down for a moment between the feet. Pause. Coming back up. Heart lift, hands start in the low back, and then start to slowly reach for the heels. 
head back. Shift back up, sit down between the feet, or not the feet, the, the legs. Let's take up your asana. So if you wanna place a block behind your back for your asana, at first it's a nice way to adjust or get used to it, but if you don't need it, don't use it. Let's take three breaths. Harley. <laughs> Be back. All right, let's start to shift back up. Shifting all the way up. This time we're gonna do hands a little higher up the leg. If you like log of a drasana, take it. If if log of a drasana, you're not in the mood. Let's just actually no. Let's just both do legs a little higher up. And getting a little bit of a deeper back bend. We won't go back yet. Just a little stretch. Hands higher up the legs. And then shift up. So now, I did this the other day, I really like it. I'm gonna do this long Vajrasana prep. So I'm gonna take the blocks behind me and I notice that they have to be a lot closer than you think. So I really have them kind of in line with my feet. Okay, and we're all a little bit different, but mine are kind of in between the feet. And I'm going hands behind the knees and working my log of Vajrasana, starting to send the hips forward and trying to get the hip to the block, head to the blocks. All right, so I'm reaching hips forward, head back. Actually, mine were too close. <laughs> So you, you'll figure it out where they should be, but fairly close to the feet. There. If you want to bring the arms off for a moment, you can. And then shift back up. Bringing it down, taking a little rest. And you know, for you Janelle too, since you're in Ashtanga, you probably don't need them. So, but it's just kind of a nice way to just ease into the pose. Maybe we'll do one without. So we'll shift up, get ourselves ready. Let's catch the breath, roll the shoulders back. Hands high up the legs, or they can be on the calf, wherever it feels best, and start to shift back. And then back up. Sit down between the knees. Take a little chill. All right, and now let's shift back to the feet. So let's roll back to the feet. Shift up, balance. Bring the knees together. Let's drop the heels. Little stretch malasana. Let's fold in. Let's take it to the knees. Okay, so you guys, Yogi's Choice, we did this the other day. You guys can play with log of a drasana, kapotasana, or camel. If you're gonna use the blocks like I'm using, make sure they're pretty close to the feet, okay? Hips are forward, shoulders back. Hands at the heart. So if you're going log of a drasana, hands are here. If you're going kapotasana, Hands of the heart. It's the only difference is you're just not using the hands initially for Kapotasana. All right, hips are forward, head goes back. Use the, use the blocks for your head.
once you're back there, try to get a little time, open your shoulders. It might take a minute to get the shoulders to open more. Now, next step, we're going to keep the knees on the ground, gently roll the toes, come back. Grab your wheel if you have a wheel, Carol, if you're not at home. You know, I think you are though. All right, so shift the wheel under the spine. We're going to roll back. Try to keep the toes tucked. Maybe grab the elbows, get a little stretch here. All right, release the feet up. Now go ahead and drop the butt all the way down. You can even sit up for a moment. The wheel is, feels so amazing. All right, now slide the wheel a little higher up. Stay on the ground, the bottom of the feet. Start to roll back. Hands down. Head down. Get ready to go up. Take your time. All the way. Hips first. Push into the hands. We'll call this back bend number one. Breathe. Come down and rest. And if you landed a little, uh, depending on where you landed on the, the wheel, just stretch. Rest. Let's go again. Ready? Hands down. Elbows in. We'll call this numero dos. Shift up. Hips up, legs up. Or arms up. Maybe try to straighten the legs. Shift down, rest. Grab the elbows. Let's sit up for a moment. Because you know when the blood rushes <laughs> to your head for too long, it gets very uh, hard. All right, last one. So on this set, we're gonna start working a little bit of leg, little leg lifts, all right? So roll the spine, let the head come back, hands come down. and shift. Bring the feet in a little bit, start to take one leg up. Gently release, switch, take your time, other leg up. Release, first side. Release, Release, rest, drop on your wheel, let the head rest, five breaths. Okay. 
Now let's sit up. Woo. So let's sit off our wheel with the wheel behind you. You can set the wheel aside. We'll get a little forward fold, reach the arms up. Reach for the toes and fold. All right, bring the heels in, reach the hands forward, shift into Malasana. Nice stretch of the low back, maybe the hands can come back. And then bring the hands forward, let's stretch, straighten the legs, downward facing. All right, right leg all the way up. Now we're getting ready to flip the dog. So, right leg comes over. The shoulders should be pretty open by now. So now we're going back to wheel. All right, nice and gentle. Reach, switch hands. Stretch. Stay ready to come back. Right hand back up. Pull that left right knee up. Balance. Let's step the foot forward all the way down. Pause. Drop the back knee. Start to scoop the belly in, reach up. Extend. Both fingertips to the floor. Let's walk the hands to the inside and stretch. Release the left toes. Bring the elbows down. Look forward. Maybe reach the right arm back. Find the foot. You can also push into that left hand. Slowly release. Let's shift up straight in the front leg. Half bottom on straight in. Grab, grab your blocks. Slide into Hanuman, take it nice and slow. So shift that leg forward, keep the hips square. Maybe fold in over that front leg. Be gentle. Some of you can come to the inside. And some of you can roll to the chest. And then if it feels all right, some of you can start to kick the back leg. Use the blocks maybe, you can have the hands on the floor. Couple back leg kicks. And then if it feels okay, you can grab your strap, reach for that back foot. If it's too much, skip this. Maybe do a little flip grip. Stretching your shoulders. Switch hands. And then release. Shift the right leg back. Whew. Tuck the left toes under. Step the foot in, rotate to the left palm. Let's grab the right toe. Playing with Vashi two, big stretch.
Now plant the right palm, bring that right leg up. Hop the left foot in. Standing split. Kind of in a three-legged dog, we're gonna practice kicking off this leg. So the right leg is up. We're gonna work a half scorpion. So bend the left knee, float up. Let that top leg go over. Work into the shoulders and switch. Other side. Switch again. And again. Now see if you can straighten the legs. Some of you can toe tap. Janelle, you, we did this a couple weeks ago. And maybe come through. All the way through. Flip the dog. Left leg reaching. I'm sorry, left arm reaching. Reach the arm over the ear. Bring that left foot back. Set up your wheel. Maybe straighten the legs. Work on the shoulders. And let's come back. Shift back. Left hand down. Left arm, right arm down, sorry. Left arm up. Bring the knee up. Step the foot forward. Oh wait, I didn't I do a, uh, a Vashi? I messed up. Bring this leg up. I can't remember to be honest. Tell me. All right, bring this leg forward. Drop the knee. I can't remember. Start to hollow out the belly. Bend deep into the left knee. Reach the arms up. And then start to bring both hands down. Deep stretch of that hip flexor. Both elbows down. Start to bend back leg, reach for the knee, I'm sorry, the foot, open. Maybe push into the right hand to get even deeper. All right, and then when you're ready, start to shift, straighten that left leg. Tuck the toes, forward and back a few times. Use your blocks, come all the way down to Hanuman. Yogi's choice, you can fold in. Maybe start reaching your arms up. Maybe grab that strap. Start working a little bit of back leg. Maybe a few kicks first. And then reach around with that strap. Working shoulders and hip flexor.
All right, let's start to extend, extend that leg up, release it. Shift onto the foot. And left leg comes back. All right, now we're gonna float off, float left leg up. Bend the right knee, kick up. Think about half scorpion, use the wall if you need it, toe overhead. Switch. Keep switching. And if you're feeling that toe tap, that top leg has to stay in scorpion. Maybe a little rest in child's pose, unless you're still working on it. And you're gonna separate the feet just a little bit and work on opening the chest. And then you're gonna bring the feet up, drop the butt, and then shift back. Separate the feet, straight legs, head through. Lift up. And drop back. And last one. Straighten the legs, a little bit of separation. Head through. And then shoot. Kick up. Bring the legs over. Use the wall. Melt the heart. And then Janelle too also can go back and forth, drop the butt back. Get the shoulders that stretch. And then switch. Back to straight legs, shift to open the chest. Now I'm going to bring one leg down. Keep the top leg on the wall. And then switch. You can let the head come through at the very end. All right, you can jump, straight legs, shift, and now start to bend the knees and look forward. And walk them down and just look forward. Take a moment. Shift the opposite way. And then shift back. Sir, 
come up. You're gonna walk pretty far in. Bring the head forward towards the wall. Let the legs come over. And try to bring the uh, forehead to the wall. down kind of like we did before try to bring the head forward and then switch try to keep looking forward Switch again. And then down. So I can come up. Shift, think straight legs, use the wall if you need it, maybe one at a time, maybe start to balance with that wall a little bit, looking up, maybe like kind of one toe on type of thing like that is really helpful. Now he's so close. 